Livingston County. Ducks flying everywhere. District Commissioner Terry Tightloff invited us down and we jumped at the chance. Beautiful, beautiful little setup you got here for duck hunting. An ideal setup for a duck hunt is obviously a place where they're gonna come visit. Now, they're gonna have to have some water, they're gonna have to have some food, and they want to feel comfortable. Their setup was right along the river. There was a flooded cornfield. They had the perfect decoy set up, had a little spot for them to come in and land. You have to do the best you can to keep ducks from seeing you. Birds have eyes that have sight like we can't imagine as human beings. These guys had a wonderful blind belt and it was the perfect spot. Construction of a blind, you see so many different types. Here you're on the edge of the water. And it's tough to be able to peek out that little hole and figure out where that duck's coming from and then open that blind up and shoot. And... There's one. <laughs> and ducks were flying in from all over the place. We're very fortunate here that we've been able to buy a small piece of property and uh, we like duck hunting. We've promoted that here on this property. Here comes one, here comes one. It's a shame those, there's no ducks down here. Do you think we could do something about that? We've been working hard to do that. <laughs> I got my heart beating. What is the process of keeping a good duck a hunting situation? Well, it kind of seems like it never ends. You know, after duck season always goes out to, I kind of say, well, the work just starts, you know. And, uh, but thanks to the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife, uh, you know, they've helped us out with uh, financial sources for uh, building levees, uh, doing groundwork, water control structures and pipes and uh, as well as some expertise, uh, you know, uh, wildlife uh, guidance, you know. There we go, he got him. If you had to bring in one word that explains why so many people are hardcore addicted to duck hunting, it's camaraderie. Have a whole lot of fun while you're in the duck blind, as long as you're not too noisy, because somebody might yell at you. In my uh, younger days, and in, in, uh, even in my 20s, uh, quail hunting was part. I didn't duck hunt then. Uh, then when the quail went away, I'm looking for a, another avenue to hunt, and uh, the uh, ducks were uh, here and getting better, and the programs that they have, uh, uh, around the waterways uh, here in Kentucky. Uh, as a child, when I would grow up on the farm next to here, uh, the skies would be black over here in the afternoon wow. uh, with uh, ducks on the Ohio River. Coming around. When they're zipping around here and there and everywhere, that adrenaline gets up and pumping, it's non-stop action. And if you have not tried it, get out there and try it. It is addictive. Boink. The sportsmen around in the area, uh, we love for them to come duck hunting around us. We have a pretty good place to draw them to, and uh, we enjoy them getting the pleasure out of hunting around us. And uh, we wish more people would uh, develop land here nearby us. Uh, the more ducks that are here, the more people get the experience. Right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. Terry, I'm telling you what, this was one heck of a duck hunt. And you said it's a so-so day. Come on now. Yeah, well, it's a good day. It's, a, good it's day. a really good day. You know what? I enjoy duck hunting. We don't have duck hunting like this back home. But I'm telling you what, this is a beautiful, beautiful day. 
it's a tradition down here and it's something that you've been doing all your life. Uh, I just really thank you for having us down today. Well, we're proud to have you. And let me tell you what, this was a big thumbs up for me in Livingston County. Mm -hmm.